Life in the Belgian Vura region is in the light of carnival. Hundreds of residents and other revellers enjoy the wonderfully decorated trucks. When evening falls and party people disappear, we recognise the real Vura region, an oasis of natural peace and quiet. Nature still seems to be hibernating, but for those who look with open eyes, the Vura region is always alive. With no remaining leaves on the trees, the mistletoe can easily be seen. This half-parasite does well on the calciferous ground of the Vura region. At nightfall, nocturnal animals awaken. Toads wake up from their hibernation under leaves or in small burrows. They head for ponds to lay their eggs. This wood mouse looks for treats between the leaves. But the real stars of the Vua region can be found here, at the edge of the forest. A family of badgers, our own little pandas. This set is the social centre of the badger family or badger clan. After waking up, the family meets at one of the many entrances for some quality time. The fur is extensively groomed. Badgers groom themselves, but also other family members. And by grooming each other, they tighten their family bonds. This way, their individual smell also blends into the unique family odour. Today the grooming session doesn't take long. Badgers don't hibernate, but during the past winter they had to rely on their fat reserves and now they're hungry. They go out looking for food, each badger by itself. Almost all the badgers have left the set, except for the dominant female. She has other worries. She's busy collecting nesting material near the set. Carefully she picks up leaves, turns them into a package that she holds between her chest and chin, and then carries them inside. Badgers are always busy furnishing their set, but with this female, there's more to it. Three weeks ago, she gave birth to four badger cubs. As the alpha female of the clan, she is the only female having a litter. The cubs are still small, but their eyes are already open and they've grown a nice coat. Now they can be left alone for a while, so mum heads off to find the necessary food. With four growing young, she needs all the protein she can get. A little bit further, and a one-year-old badger is relaxing by a tree. 
He's been foraging for a few hours, and now his stomach is full. Suddenly, he is startled by a strange sound coming from down the slope. The dominant male and female are mating. It seems the female didn't get too much time to eat. If this mating is successful, the fertilised eggs will only develop in winter. Thus the cubs will be born in February and leave the set around April, when food is most plentiful. Suddenly, the young badger starts to mingle in the mating game, and the female soon gets irritated. She wants to leave, but both males follow her into the woods. At sunrise, we can see how drastically this badger clan has changed the environment. The main set is their home and is characterised by the many entrances and piles of soil. By digging the set in a slope, they can smell the surrounding odours from inside and when the coast is clear, the badgers will leave the safety of the set. The typically hollow roads of the Ruhr region are perfect for creating burrows, although sometimes measures have to be taken to prevent a road from being blocked after a night of intense digging. A lot of trails start from the set, crossing the badger's territory. These are small paths taken nightly by the badgers on the hunt for food. Winter has turned into spring. Nature wakes up and the air is filled with the smell of spring flowers. Lots of birds have made their nest and defend their territory with song. In the forest, we can find the beautifully purple-coloured common dog violet. Long-tailed tits scan the trees and shrubs for insects and at this time of year the white-flowered wood anemones are at their best. At the edge of the forest the blackthorn catches the eye. The berries are ripe in autumn and often used for marmalade. But in spring, the blossoming blackthorn is striking. A male black cap sings his best tune, hoping to attract a female. Meanwhile, a buzzard soars high in the air. From above, he scans the meadows for prey. Blooming dandelions and cuckoo flowers brightly colour the grasslands. Beneath the water, mating toads leave their eggs in long strings amongst the water plants. In the evening, the wren sings his last tune, and it's time for our most popular Vera animals to get into action.
When night falls, a storm starts. Completely soaked, they eagerly look for some food. Due to the rain, earthworms, snails and many other small creatures become active. Badgers benefit from this situation. After the rain, a brown rat wants to leave his small burrow, but he should be careful since a beech marten has just left his nest in an old tree and is on the hunt for some meat. This young tawny owl calls out to his parents, begging them to bring some food. Our badger cubs have turned into adolescents. They've waited for the rain to end, but are eager to discover the world outside the safety of their set. They still drink from their mother, but they're old enough to collect a snack of their own here and there. Their life is still without worry. They play, and that's about it. A third cub has also left the den and enjoys a wonderful spring evening. A few weeks later, it's summer and hundreds of tourists come to the Vura region to witness the Holy Mary procession. A bit further down the road, a couple of moorhens are living in a pond. They've just finished their first clutch. The male brings reed to rebuild the nest for a second brood. Whilst playing, these young foxes sharpen their hunting skills. Foxes often benefit from non-used parts of a badger set. The young tawny owl can now fend for himself. But these rare red-back shrikes still get a little help from their parents. Our young badgers wake up early and enjoy a nice grooming session in the evening sun. As always, afterwards they go out foraging and luck is on their side. It's been warm and dry for the past few weeks and the nearby pear tree drops its goodies earlier than normal. The whole family leaves the fringe of the wood to head to the pear tree. The young badgers are nearly fully grown and take advantage of this opportunity.
When a temporary food source is located too far from the set, badgers dig a sort of co-set. They can sleep or shelter here without having to make any long distance journeys every day. Badgers, you see, are opportunistic and adapt quickly to lots of different situations. It doesn't take long for them to eat their fill, so there's time enough for other activities. A few of the adults head back to the set to do some digging. Sets are in use for generations. In fact, some sets in this region are over a hundred years old. Every year, the sets are extended by digging new chambers and tunnels. Their sturdy claws and long nails are the perfect tools for that. It's autumn, and at the border of the clan's territory, typical dung pits can be found. These are small holes in which badgers defecate. The smell warns other badgers that this territory is occupied. The pear tree already dropped its last pears a few weeks ago, but now the badgers need more food than ever. It's vital they put on a large fat reserve to see them through the winter. This alpha female goes to a grassland nearby, looking for her favourite food, earthworms. In tall grass it's difficult finding earthworms, but freshly mown meadows and even gardens are perfect. She searches for the worms using her nose. When she finds one, she carefully pulls it out. Badgers can spend hours concentrating on finding these earthworms. In the early morning, two badgers are fighting on the set. When the clan becomes too big, some of them will have to leave to join another family or even start a new clan of their own. This mission can be long and dangerous. This badger, for instance, has got hit by a car whilst looking for a new territory. It didn't survive. Every year, one out of every five badgers dies in a traffic accident. It's a large number, but luckily, in the Vur region, they try to avoid this type of accident. Fences are placed next to large and dangerous roads. 
To safely reach the other side, badgers can use one of the many tunnels that are placed under the road. Our badgers are better off. This young female has left the set. She manages to stay away from traffic and uses the cover of sunken roads. She won't come back to the Vur region. Her future lies elsewhere. Maybe she'll find a partner and start a new clan of her own. The badger is a fascinating animal. Its numbers are growing after years of being hunted. Their alterations to the landscape by digging sets and making paths can be seen in more and more places. Let's hope that these young badgers fare well. Who knows, maybe they've already reproduced and the story can begin over again.